Hello! Uh, if you're like me, then you like to eat some jerky. I uh, like uh, deer jerky, buffalo jerky, venison jerky, any kind of jerky, I love it. Especially if it's cold out, you're doing some hiking, camping, hunting, fishing, whatever it is, you like the jerky. So, these two jerkies you've seen in the store, they're not bad. Uh, this one is Oberto, and it's pretty good. It's a little bit chewy, rubbery. The taste is okay. This one, Jack Lynx, it's pretty good too, but uh, I got to tell you, these jerkies, these jerkies are alright, but there's nothing like homemade jerky. There you go. That's the real deal. Uh, homemade jerky is not hard to make at all. You just need the right equipment, number one, and then a recipe. Simple. Uh, when we make ours... We usually marinate it overnight, and this particular recipe here uh, is beef, and the beef was like maybe $3 a pound or something. Uh, can of beer, bunch of spices, strips, cut. Uh, we use a machine to cut them sometimes, and it's marinated overnight. And then you get this wonderful jerky, put it in jars, put it in bags, stays good for months. So check it out. Make your own, and uh, I'll be back to review the uh, jerky cutting machines. Wow, is that good. By the way, the recipe's on the website. Uh, free recipes, tips and advice from professional chefs, all the good stuff for your kitchen. It's at your sponsor. Okay, this is the meat cuber tenderizer jerky cutter that I use. I like it and uh, it works. It's pretty easy to use. ChefDepot.com